Now then YouTube, I'm the Toffman and welcome back to some more American Truck Simulator. We are on part 9 today guys. I am all done, I am all moved, I am in my new place and I cannot wait to start get ready and set with some more American Truck Simulator. So I left last episode, let me have a quick look at the uh, the world map. I'm going somewhere to somewhere. Is this where, really where I'm going? That is a very short journey to have to talk about what I want to talk about today. So. What was explained in the last episode is what I was going to um, be talking about in this episode, which is the Britain Exit Europe thing. Well, a lot of people want to know my views. They want to know my opinions. Really, it's not all about me. Do you know? Of course it's not. It's about the individual, whether or not they want something to see, because we haven't been given this opportunity before, and I don't think it's fair myself um, to turn around and kind of influence people's views on that. So it, it is what it is, and it is whether or not you... Whoa, dear me. I'm going to have to try and force my way out. There we go. I am turning right here, so it really doesn't matter anyway. There we go. Um, it is what it is, and uh, your choices are your choices. Personally, and this is only me, but personally, I will be leaning towards Britain out of the EU. Um, that, again, there are the reasons, and, you know, everyone's going to have their own reasons and stuff like that. I just think that certain things that have been said um, that would be, should be upheld by David Cameron uh, are just being debunked all the time by Europe, by Brussels, and by uh, the European Union. I don't think it's fair. I honestly don't think it's fair. I think every country in the world should be in control of their own rules, of their own laws, of anything like that. Which is brings me on to uh, another situation that I want to talk about. Uh, people say, well, you know, what about what's happening in Syria? What about this? What about that? That is fair enough, you know. Everybody should have their own rules, their own laws, their own everything. So, you know, it, it's not our place to get involved with all of that. That is my stance on what's happening over there. Um, the, the reason, I don't know if people are going to say this, the main reason why everyone's got involved in what's going on over in Syria is, of course, because of the threat to uh, the United Kingdom. But, well, I don't know. I just think that, uh, again, like I said, I'd like to be in control of my own laws, and uh, I think the country should be in, con in charge of its own laws. When it gets to stuff like North Korea and stuff like that, where they, um, you know, they're doing all these bomb tests and stuff like that, that's different, you know. And you can't always believe what is said and what goes on in the media. Let me just make that, you know, perfectly clear. And if you do believe everything that goes on in the media, then you're silly because. Medias are run, you know, like the news channels, they're run by companies, okay? They exist by making money. The news are not just there for the fun of it. They are there to make money, and I wouldn't... They do anything so they can get a story. Now, it wouldn't surprise me that the media would push for a Britain out. It really doesn't put, surprise me if that's what they would push for. The main reason for that is because there would be a hell of a lot more news around if Britain did, in fact, leave the EU. So I've forgotten how to do my wipers here. Hang on. Hold up. Hold up. Hey. I've forgotten how to do my wipers. How does one do my wipers? Throttle... Hazard warning, light, beacon, horn, wipers is P. Okay, joy hat, switch right. Really? Is that it? Or I could just do P if I really wanted to. Oh, I text so long with my with my uh, with my control. So if I do this, ah, oh, there we go. Got my wipers on. They're on now. They can't do me for this. I wouldn't hesitate actually to put my my uh, my lights on. I don't think. That's what I would do in this particular weather, but uh, I don't think that that takes into account. Oh, we must do. Look, everyone's got the lights on. Can we get moving, please? Come on. Come on. Go, 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 go. It's a gap. <laughs> there is a gap. Go. Go for it. So I think we're off to Huron, are we not? It should be most of the way now by, uh, by I, whatever the hell we're on. I have no idea where we are. So, you know, the, what I was saying, guys, about that, um, 
this whole Boris Johnson versus David Cameron and you know the conflicting views and everybody you know they've got two different things going on that is literally the media love that shit and the media absolutely love it and do you know why because it's a story because it's something that they can sell because it's something that people want to watch and um, the, the media would love Britain to exit the EU. They really would. Now, there, of course, there are going to be benefits to staying in the EU. And, you know, there's what I don't agree with is all of these companies that have a hand in Britain, like, say, for example, was it Mercedes or something that put a, a newsletter going around trying to coach people to, to vote into uh, EU? Nah, you can't go around doing that. You cannot go around and influence people's votes like that. It's just... And I know that people are going to do that anyway. You know, David Cameron is doing it all the time by scaring people. And I don't like that either. You know, people have got their own minds. You know, they will work out and they will look into things of their own. And if they don't look into that properly enough and they make the wrong choice, that is totally up to them. And I, I would say everything, you know, all of that to you guys as well. All of you who can go out and vote on this referendum, look at all the options. Look at what inter you're interested in. Get the facts about what you're interested in. And then... Oh, please pull in for a vehicle inspection. What? Where? Oh, where station? Okay, fair enough. I've got to pull in for an inspection, guys. Hopefully they've not overloaded me. I'll be in trouble if I am. Activate the icon. There we go. Thank you for cooperation. Have a safe journey. Well, I must have been perfectly fine. Turn my indicator off. Now I've got to get out of this bloody junction. Cheers for that. Jeez. But yes, as I was saying, guys, get your facts right, get your things straight, and then decide on what you want to do. Whoa, that one's coming really fast. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry I've just cut you off. It's fine. But yeah, get all your facts before you go ahead and vote. And whatever people are saying, you know, even me, what I'm saying now, don't let it influence you. Do whatever you think and the vote that you think is right. Uh, but like I said, you've got to get all the facts first. You have to get all the facts. I'm going to talk about personally me, um, because that's what you asked for. Personally, like I said, I believe that everybody should be in control of their own laws and it seems absolutely ludicrous that our benefit system has to go through the EU. It makes no sense to me. It's our money, we pay the European Union for being in the Union and they want us to figure out, you know, they want us to uh, uh, go by their rules on, you know, what we give as benefits to the people of our country. Nah, it just, that doesn't sit right with me. How on earth, and I, if I was a person that went through the First World War or the Second World War, I would be absolutely turning in my grave right now. If, they, if you would look from the past and look into the future and you would see that there is a European Union, that's absolutely fantastic. That's brilliant. You know, peace, harmony, all that kind of good stuff. Uh, well, for the most part. But, and this is a big but, Brussels has a lot of control over, um, over us. <laughs> And that is not right. There, there'd be, you know, and Angela Merkel, she was like uh, head of the European Union at some stage, was she? Oh, I've just missed my, my I'm too busy yattering that I've totally missed my bloody thing. I'm going to have to go off at the next. Oh man, I'm going to go forever. Oh jeez. But yeah, Angela Merkel, I, I mean, like I said, the people in the First World War, the Second World War, they're absolutely turning in their grave because they fought for the freedom of Britain for the freedom of all the people from you know from Germany and now Germany has all the control and has the power and I could be taught you know I'm sure that there is there are other things to do with that and and so on and so forth but uh, you know I see it like that <laughs> I see it like that and I think it's absolutely disgusting I think it's really really bad that uh, we've l relinquished all of our control just to be in a European Union what isn't it doing it for what is it actually doing for us I don't, I don't know what it's doing for us. We're paying so many millions and millions of pounds um, per month being in this. And it just doesn't seem to warrant the reward of that. And it says all about trade agreements and, and stuff like that. But uh, I don't know, guys. I really don't know. Britain, should they leave or should they stay? That is a question 
that has to be asked by everybody. And uh, that will be answered, of course, in June. I think it's June that the, uh, the thing is on. Can I not go back out? Oh, I couldn't go the... I'm apparently going the side way. That's absolutely fine by me. I'm on the wrong side of the road. Hello? There we go. I went a bit out of my way. <laughs> Oops. Never mind. So, yeah, like I said, guys, I should be online. By the time that this goes out, I should be online. So, in the comment section below, guys, if you want me to talk about something in particular uh, or anything like that, please go ahead and uh, let me know in the comment section and, uh, you know, let me know about the subject that it is. If there is no subjects there or anything like that, you know, if you've got your opinions on what I've said about this episode, you can also do that as well. If there's nothing in there, I can always go ahead and, uh, and find something from, like, newspapers and anywhere and, you know, do my own little spin on it, so. Go on, you can turn right. Why are you waiting? Why are you waiting? I'm not waiting. I'm going straight off. Be interesting to see what you guys think about the Britain exit. It really would be interesting to see. So, I'm nearly there, actually. I've nearly discovered Huron, which is just off the uh, main interstate. And here we go. It's just down here. We've got 25 minutes of a bit of ledge parking, guys. Are you guys in for a bit of ledge parking today? Are you guys in for a bit of ledge parking? I have no idea whether my ledge parking skills will have followed me into my new place. But uh, here's where we find out. Let's pop around here. And Huron is just ahead of us. We've got to make note of uh, all of the speed limit changes, of course, because we're just about to go into a town, I think. Or maybe this isn't even a town. Maybe it's just a farm of some kind. I have no idea. But we're doing 55 in a 55. And Huron has now been discovered. Turning in. Oh, here we go. Oops. I nearly hit the, the bollard there. Bill of ledge parking, guys. Let's see how bad this ledge parking is. Where do you need it? That is what we're going to go for. They need it right there. Okay. Let's go. So it seems as if they need it round here. Um, it would be a good idea. Right. There doesn't seem to be. Oh, are you kidding me? There is something in the way. Oh. <gasps> That is harsh. That is really, really harsh, guys. Oops, wrong way. Right, let's do this properly. Let's get as far as we can over here. Try to straighten it up a little bit. There we are. And then let's try to spin it this way a bit more. Should have cleared that. Nice. And it's just a case of straight back now, I think. Oops. Let's go straight forward now so we can see where we are. Okay. We can do this. This feels right, but I'm crashing into something here. Ledge parking. This is proper ledge parking, guys. Here. No. Oh my god. I'm too wide. That's the problem here. Right. I am nowhere near. Oh. It's 
Stop laughing at me, you. Look at over there, having a piss behind the thing. Stop laughing at me. I'm not having it. This is one hell of a ledge park. This is looking better. Swinging it in. Good. Ah, ledge parking. That is right, guys. We've done it. We eventually got there. So we've got 1,677. We've got up to level three now. Fantastic. So what do we want to do? I think it might be time to get some of these hazardous cargoes to try and get our our thing up. So we've got 20 point. Oh, just in time. No, I don't want that. I don't like them. We get 25 experience bonus for delivery distance longer than 250 miles. Well, we're going for shorter ones, aren't we? So, I think we want to try something. So, I think I've got explosives. Flammable gas. Class 2s. There's quite a lot of them, actually. Whereas there's one explosive. We'll go for class 4. I think we'll go for class 2. This one. We'll go for class 2, which is gases. Um, and we'll go ahead and apply for that. Good stuff. And now we are level 3, of course. So I'm going to wait until I'm level 5, get a bit of money, and then, of course, get my uh, my first truck. Let's go to the job market, though, um, and take a quick job. We want to go to Oakdale, if we can. Sacramento, no. Oakdale? Oakdale, not Oakland. No, there is nothing there. Fresno, maybe? Oakdale? No. I've already done Huron. Oxnard? Maybe? To Oakdale? Nothing. Bakersfield to Oakdale? Oakdale. Bakersfield to Oakdale. It looks like we go like, up the uh, interstate for quite a while there. Um, that is worth 2326 to me. Well, that's not too bad, actually. That is not too bad. It's not one of these uh, expensive jobs, but uh, it will do. That is next on the list. We could, of course, go to Oakland. Oh, hang on a minute. Wasn't the one from here to Oakland? No. Here? Yes, there is ones to Oakland here. Um, 1,996. I think we'll go for the most expensive one. It's only a short journey. I like the little short journeys. It allows me, you know, bite-sized chunks for you guys. There will be episodes that will be very, you know, long when it when it comes to the really long journeys. But uh, for the moment, I want to try to find all of these different places, don't forget. And uh, this is a good way of doing it. Let me go ahead and take that job. That, unfortunately, though, is going to be for the next episode. If you've enjoyed this episode at all, please, please, please go ahead and leave a like on the episode. It really does help, guys. And uh, I would love to see you, your guys' comments and your guys' replies on what has been said in this episode. So until then... I've been the Tough Man, thank you very much for watching, and as always, stay safe.